Hi, this video is about Tesla, Tesla extra coil. Tesla extra coil, Tesla used extra coil first time in the Colorado Springs uh, when his his laboratory. How it works? He uh, he added. Uh, so when you add, uh, he add actually added uh, extra coil to secondary coil of his Tesla coil so uh, but it must be in galvanic connection not in uh, inductive uh, in the field so <coughs> he developed that and uh, he called this magnifier so he uh, multiply a voltage uh, too much with using extra coil but primary secondary coil must be closed then if, uh, for extra coil uh, if you want to give the best results and it is how with extra coil he first time detected uh, a standing wave of earth uh, after that many researcher develop uh, research uh, what how it works even tesla described what is important to, um, how, um, for designing so actually we can use ordinary coil with uh, connected uh, with one terminal to frequency ge frequency generator and it pump here it goes one way goes here turn change direction and add again and again. so on the end let's say with 10 volts input you can get here easy 300 volts here on the on the terminal so this coil uh, so which means that you do not need tesla coil so uh, for driving extra coil uh, so it can be the single coil if you treat like with one terminal selection something like single wire conduction <laughs> another version is uh, so over here we can use ordinary frequency frequency generator with uh, one terminal of uh, without ground whatever uh, ground here is can be but it's not important uh, for this work because this uh, magnifier extra coil works on different principle than secondary coil or Tesla coil. So we can uh, get similar results if we have inductor here and energize, in, energize this inductor during on of uh, period of transistor. During off, it back EMF goes here and works on the same principle like this uh, to. Mm, better get better results we can add capacitor it is a small capacitor it depends of this uh, coil it is a little different um, more complex but give very good result so as i said in tesla coil how i'm tuning in resonance uh, and calculate the length of, of this extra coil the length of wire let's uh, I will show it we have the coil with 300 meters length of wire then I will use like I described in previous video 2 times 30 meters for bifolar for energizing so I will uh, similar like this but just I add uh, another small coil because it, this coil uh, and this capacitor are in serial serial connection so when it gets resonance uh, there is a very high voltage in this capacitor much higher than source has uh, so it can pump to very high voltage so which we have very very high amplitude here oscillations so which will be we insert in extra coil and get high voltage uh, so over here I can we prepare something so this is the coil which has 300 meters 
about 300 meters total length of wire. This uh, bifolar which we made which two times 30 meters which between the 10 times less length of wire per coil. So two times 30 they oscillate on the same frequency. So we are using ordinary switch uh, just one MOSFET on off uh, driven by TL494 uh, and we are pumping in 33 nano in a few turns uh, so let's say we are producing now standing wave standing wave it is a uh, we can, if we, but the driven frequency is driving frequency is uh, for uh, about 40 kilohertz, 49, uh, 50 kilohertz, pardon. But it produces. So if let's have a look when I to change a little bit frequency and change, so it is clear. So here it is about 100 hertz. Ah, it's beautiful. That's it. Thank you.